Welcome to By The Meter Podcast. Hello and welcome to another By The Meter Podcast. My name's Nathan Parker, spoken artist from Blackpool. I'm uh, Rob Del Terra. Yeah, we'll go with that. DJ and all sorts. Social pariah. Anything with money. Anything (laughs) that, yeah. If you're throwing cash at me, I'm probably there. And we are uh, the deadly duo that run By The Meter, an event in Blackpool that is a celebration of music and words. But because we're not busy enough, we thought we want to do a bit of a podcast. We want to kind of have a natter with some of our previous beautiful performers who have graced the stage at Bootleg, 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 Bootleg Bootleg Social. And have a natter about poetry and and you get to know uh, these guys behind the words. And hopefully cast the net a bit further and reach a wider audience and bring more people to Blackpool. Getting good at this, aren't we now? Yeah, starting yeah, to. It's yeah, developing. It's flowing a little bit, it's isn't developing. it? Developing. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to stop because I feel like I could go and go. <laughs> uh, so, Rob, who have we got? Uh, Ant Schmerich. Hello. Hello. And Paige Dees. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we already, we already yeah. know you each other. pick and choose who. You, you can see him. Yeah. Flip so, a coin. Um, as as is usual practice, what's your name and where'd you come from is, is our usual kind of intro, but also why poetry and then a little bit on your experience of By The Meter, because we're sick of talking about how good it is. So um, so who wants to introduce themselves first? All right, I'll give it a shot. Excellent. My name's Paige. I do spoken word, poetry, whatever you like to call it. I don't really know the difference, really, between spoken word and poetry. They're both the same. No, that's the same. Yeah, you can throw them together, same, can't same you? Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure there's people out there that could give us a comprehensive difference, but yeah. we're not asked. Spoken well, word is just uh, one element of poetry. Yeah. As a, one time, you know, of, yeah. 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 It's well, a little bit, it's a looser form, isn't it, I think? Well, if you know and you're listening, email in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there will be, yeah. I'm pointing everywhere during the thing. Oh, we've done sorry. this on my other podcast, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of editing, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Rob. <That's> <laughs> um, I've been doing spoken word for around three years now um i did music before that i still do a little bit of music and singing um and i got roped into it before lockdown um i was i was doing a jam night and um there's a a rapper in manchester called skittles and he came to to watch one of the jam nights while i was there and he pulled me over pulled me aside and said do you write music and i said yeah and he went do you write poetry and i went no and he went, well, you do now. You're performing at my event next week. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, sat in Weatherspoons one day, wrote a poem, performed it, and the rest is and history. That's it, yeah. Excellent. Just yeah. love that. I mean, I was hoping that the answer to, do you write poetry? And you said no. And he's gone, what's the difference between writing lyrics and writing poetry? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know there is different, yeah. but... He's not not necessarily. He's quite not. big on all that skill. Then I, call, yeah. I think I said once, like, about him after a gig... He was writing lyrics on his hand, and I said, like, oh, "Are they bars?" And he was like, "They're not bars. This is these are lyrics." And he he gave me a, like a real explanation of like he'd be probably a good person yeah. to ask what the difference between spoken word yeah. and poetry. Skittles, if you watch Skittles. this, can you let us know what the difference is? <laughs> yeah, he'd know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you found poetry stage. Yeah, that's yeah. how I found poetry, and um, I've been hooked ever since. Did so. you leave leave music behind after that? I know. Um, it has but, kind of taken a backseat. Yeah, yeah, I've I've gone more into poetry now, and. Um, love it. I feel like it's just a universal language, really. Everybody can understand some parts of it, and it's nice to be able to have people relate to what you're saying, and you relate to them. And um, yeah, awesome. And and we had you on by the meter four, didn't we? Yes. Our last by the meter, actually. Yeah. What was your experience with by the meter? Oh, um, I found it a very welcoming experience. Um, It was very warm and I think that's something that's really important when um, when performing and, you know, the audience was just so lovely and the host was so amazing and beautiful. That was when we were away, that That must have been, uh, yeah. Yeah, you weren't there that day, were you? (laughs) 
strong booze in that boot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> and they need to sort the air con out because yeah. it is warm, you're it's right. It's very warm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it was nice to have a drink afterwards and uh, blow away the cobwebs. That's it, isn't it? And and that's one of the things that we're we're really keen on is that experience for not just the audience but the the poets as well. And we want it to be something that everybody enjoys and gets a lot from. And and if me and Rob, we're we're last priority really, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, we want to make sure everybody else has a good time. And obviously, naturally, you've seen us. Yeah. You've seen us in our habitat. We have a nice time as well. Oh, yeah. Smashing! Thank you very much, Paige. Um, over to you, Anne. Hello. That's very Blackpool. Actually, what you just said, isn't it? When you were saying about wanting to look after, I feel like every time I come here, it's like being at someone's house, even though it's a plane. <laughs> yeah. I feel so like you are welcome into someone's gaff. Yeah. We, we, we've had the conversation, haven't we? We 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 grow up welcoming people yeah, into right. the town all the time. Yeah. Can we swear on this? Yeah, yeah. I swear away. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna, Fuck's gonna say, sake. Billy Big Bollocks driving down, waving at all his mates. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we be turned up when I ask them to? Like, like, I'm going to be driving like down Margate Drive at five past two. <laughs> yeah. be there. It's like a movie set. Well, it's, Bla- it's Blackpool, yeah. so you've only got 180 degrees that you can go, yeah, and, then, yeah, and then your feet start getting wet, yeah. so <laughs> everyone knows each other. Yeah, man. No, that was really nice, but I, do, I always feel like that. Um, yeah, I'm Anthony Schmerich, um, a poet, musician, um, writer, just a writer, I think. I think I'm still, oh God, how many years have been doing it? Still struggling to figure out like, what to call it. Um but yeah, poems to music really is the current bit. Poems to dance to. Excellent, nice album <laughs> First, plug. Where's the thing? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the EP. That's what I've, I think. That's where I'm at with it currently. Um, but still, I write poetry every day. I still write like I've got loads of page poetry. That you, that's what that maybe the page poetry. <laughs> hey. Not planned. Hey. Um, yeah, loads of poems about you, and yeah, loads of ones that work on the page or in my phone and wouldn't work out loud. So I'm always writing yeah. something really. Um, you write in your phone. Is that your? Main, I always write in my is phone. That your main I wish it was more romantic, and yeah. I had like a, a notebook and a fucking quill or whatever. But I don't. It is in my phone, so I can edit and move bits about, and yeah. um, like it's that. always in my notes app. And I can't do it on a laptop either. It has to be in my. I don't know why. It was I'm, cause I'm the same. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know yeah. why I'm because I, when I'm writing um, for work, yeah, has to I be have on to, that. it's got to be on my laptop. But but also all my notes and stuff, yeah. I'm making a book handwritten. Yeah, mad. It is. It's, it's fun. I think it is a different. I don't know. It must just bring out a different thing. Maybe my brain's like, oh, this is like a, a poem now, or whatever. I think it forces me personally to uh, be. Um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? But but because the, the, the phone's only so wide, yeah. formatting. It makes yeah. me pick the words that's carefully. Good. That's nice because there's not the room you to don't waffle. Want it to go down onto another you, line. No, that, that aesthetically would do yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine's all that. I like mine. All gets so I like do loads of returns and have loads of like the ideas down at the bottom where I can't see them and then I'll scroll down and bring them back up to the top oh, of it no. and I'll put wow. them in and then I'll hide them so I can't see them and then yeah. maybe I'll forget about a few of them yeah it is a, it's a, definitely yeah. a thing yeah. that I Love do that. yeah there you go insight so why, why poetry like what 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 drew you to it? Mine was getting. I always wanted to write. I think. Oh, I don't know. No, I didn't. Not when I was at school. I didn't, I wasn't into poetry at school or like anything really. It was when I went to uni, like didn't do too well in my first year, and then started to try and screw my head on in the second year because I was like, oh, my mum will kill me if I like fuck this up. Um, Thanks for not killing him, Mrs. Schmerick. No, I'm not Mrs. Schmerick. Up he gets a shout out nearly. It's only been five minutes. You know what I mean? Shout out. We love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and then just started, I don't know, I just found everything. I just started, like, reading and thinking, oh, there's something I can do here. And started doing, I wanted to write a book, wanted to write a novel. And I did, actually. And then it just kept getting shorter and shorter. And I th- feel like what I actually wanted people to get out of a novel was, like, little sound bites and little, I yeah. don't know, like, little things to take away. Like little you're doing moments, a song, yeah. like a little lyric or whatever to bring with you. And I realised I didn't really need all of the, the stuff from a novel. And it got shorter and shorter and shorter. And a bit like you, really. Like the performance element element of it is just something that I like. It's so addictive. We all done it, you know yeah. what I mean? It's so addictive. And then I just started to just wanted to show off more. And I was just like, let's get a band involved. Obviously, I'm lucky that my brother plays guitar. My mate Tom plays bass. Rob, I just it was all there. It, it's I just, just had all to bring it together. It? Yeah, yeah, perfectly. Really, perfectly. really. And really I'm looking it. forward to to getting into what's happening for you at the moment yeah, in man. a bit because that is, yeah, it's, well, well, fried, I would say man. unbelievable, but it's not because you're fucking talented as fuck. Thank so you very much. it's very it's just great that it's come to fruition. But by the meter, mate, because you were by the meter yeah. number three. What was it? Three? Yeah, number three. Yeah. It was it was last summer. 
Yeah, it were. Yeah. And I, I've, been, I've done two. Well, there's one for your butt launch you, and all. You did do the butt launch. But it was yeah. two like very distinct experiences, I guess. The first one was just me, and then you were spinning for me, weren't you? And like playing some of the oh, backing yeah, tracks yeah. and that, yeah. which was nice. And then, you know, it's obviously rowdy. It's Blackpool. <laughs> Classic. It's just like people coming in and out of the shadows, and you're like, who's this now? Is that someone on someone's <laughs> shoulders for a poem? <laughs> 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 That's Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone brought a flare, isn't it? <laughs> um, mm. That was the first one, and then we had a bit of a party after, didn't we? Yeah. And kicked on a bit, and then the second one brought our kid down. And we had like he had the guitar. We did an Oasis chord. I don't even know why. It was. Do you know what that strip back of just you and your brother was yeah. fucking well good. Yeah, and, and there nice was people at the back of the like other musicians there who were going, "Oh my god, who's this? These are, yeah. honestly." And I was like, "Get him on Spotify, mate." You know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to spell them, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I spell it out. <laughs> thing, don't worry. Should have had, keep thinking that, man. I should have had a pseudonym or something. But um, every time people ask, I'm like, "Oh, I'll write it down." I can't even say it. I can't even say it. Formerly known as yeah, I just call myself Smez. Well, my mates call me Smez. Yeah, back home. Like, Smez sounds a bit like an STD, doesn't it? Yeah, just, yeah. Don't want really. one of them. It's not very, it's not very six music. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a fair few years with a Polish yeah. woman, so I'm all right with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you get it. It's quite easy. The S yeah. ends of shit. That's the way. Yeah, that's me. Awesome, mate. Thank you very much. Rob, it's that time again. Your moment to flip the flip coin. Flip coin time. Is that what it, yeah. Yeah. I thought something bad was going to happen then. I, I was waiting for, like, a prank or... Um, <laughs> We brought Split a special guest in. Who's going to call oh, it? Actually, yeah. Go on, you call. Oh, oh heads. Heads it is. Oh! Do you want to go first? Yeah, call here. Do you want to go okay. first or do you want to go second? Um, I'll go first. You're ready. First. I can shine that you're light. Ready. You're ready. Shine that spotlight on page. Page. So you got into writing. Yes. You performed at Saying, Skitt- yes. Skittles is Night. You got hooked. What, what did the rest of the journey look like? What happened from there? Ooh. Well... It's funny because I, I studied event management, so I kind of went out a little bit of the of the performance route, um, but kind of still stayed in it. And uh, yeah, finished my masters in in events. Hello, man. Did you have a little round of applause for that? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say you were born in Salford before as well? Yes, yeah. yeah. Born yeah. in Salford. Smash it. Yeah. Love that. Studied in London, left London, and came back. <laughs> we bumped into each other in London outside, like <laughs> St Pancreas. It's like impossible. That is so like, weird. Page. I was just having a stroll, and all of a yeah. sudden, Smerrick was there, and I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is like, yeah, what are the chances? It's there? famously so busy. large yeah. as a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love Nine million this. people. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. outside, like the most bait place yeah. ever. It was like, this is London to Pancreas. Pancreas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know I was there. Turn around, the yeah. people are. <laughs> Made no sense, but there you go. Yeah. So was the Masters be for, from a timeline perspective? Because yeah. you say you bumped into Skittles pre-COVID. Oh, so no, then... that, was last, that was last year. Oh, that, that right, yeah. okay. Yeah, that was... What your masters was last year? Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, so you year. were already performing before the masters was finished. Oh yet. yeah, yeah. So I, I studied music um, when I was seventeen. So that was at Manchester College, and um, that's kind of where my performance love grew. Um, so we did a lot of performances at Band on the Wall, and I'd house jam nights, and um, yeah, I was I was out gigging most days really. Um, it was lovely. Um, and then through that, I, I started doing events at Band on the Wall. I did a few charity events for them, and then that's where my love for events grew. Um, kind of long term, I want to use my performance skills and my event skills and bring them all together and create, yes, yeah. Yeah, create it's all a nice like little the, hub. The honey pot in it yeah. there. Just, exactly. Yeah. 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 All the bits. yeah, it all interlinks. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of my that's how it's developed. Short, short long story. What, talk, talk, talk to us a bit about inspiration because new material is uh, sometimes a bit of a bugbear for a lot of people. But yes. what, 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 what do you got? What's your go-to? Um, I like to write about disability and mental health. I think it's incredibly important. We're all struggling with something, and um, poetry is just such a great outlet to to really convey how you feel and and tell people that they're not alone. Um, and I've found that that's kind of the big golden nugget for me with poetry is that um, <clears throat> that it's a space where we can all share. 
and and you know m- my mum came to to a few by the meter events now and she she keeps on coming home and going oh my goodness I want to write now I want oh, to write and mint. yeah yeah, so lovely. yeah her she's artwork's great next level yeah love it yeah her yeah. art's amazing um but yeah she's she's not done much of it and and she's she's coming to these nights and then she comes home and she's inspired and yeah you know I mean you can't ask for more than that can you yeah oh, yeah she performed a monologue to me the other night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, created a monster. <laughs> Sit down, Paige. <Yeah. laughs> it's my time. I, yeah. I'm, speaking of your inspiration, one of one of a performance that sticks in my mind yes. out, out of everybody. This is not just one of your performances. Is when we performed together at the Royal Infirmary, Manchester Royal Infirmary. Yes. Was it Royal Infirmary? Infirmary yes. Hospital. Yes. Yeah. At that NHS festival. Yes. And yes. I, I was moved to tears with your account of how thankful you were for Manchester yeah. Royal is it Royal Infirmary? Yeah, 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 I got that right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and how thankful you were in that bit of that bit of your journey. I was like, wow, that is so powerful. Like to have the ability to be able to share that and connect with people about that and and offer gratitude from such a tricky period in your life. Mm. I just it was just so moving. Yeah. So for the listeners out there, (laughs) I've spent most of my time in hospital and I've got an incurable condition and it took me a really long time to to actually just come to terms with that mentally and physically. Um, You know, I've spent most of my life in hospital, most of my friends are nurses and um, and it's it's been a huge journey. And then... um, I hate that word journey, but it has been a journey. Um, And then um, I met Seymour and he's a nurse. And I found out that he's a nurse at the MRI and he does these workshops um, for nurses to to help them understand their emotions and make the workplace a better space using poetry. So that's how we we kind of came to this event because he did a festival for for the nurses and and we pitched a tent outside the hospital and it was a very wholesome event it was, lovely. It it was, was great really nice. yeah. yeah yeah some of the nurses performed and then we did a few bits and yeah it was it was lovely awesome. yeah, yeah but that that's that that one stays with me that. Mm, yeah yeah so um so yeah I've, I've got a lot of love and a lot of um a lot of feelings about about the nurses that have mm. saved me and that have saved my life. Um, so it's only right, really, that I use my skills to to kind of give back a little bit. Yeah, helps helps other people understand as well, though, yes. who who are going through similar things. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. and and that hope Superb. and you know you always seem to be able to put a positive slant on on some of the most difficult subjects yes uh, and i think m- most people who've watched you perform would say the same thing like to yeah. feel so warm and uplifted about very difficult subjects mm. is is a skill it's a real Thank skill you. got to find the positives and negatives haven't you yeah. that's the way that things are dealt with but that's only that's something that you can only really learn yeah. through going through the journey yeah you know Exactly. And a journey's got a destination, exactly. so all aboard, isn't it? <laughs> all aboard the positive train. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Is that fast? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what's what's next? What's coming up for you? Next? Yeah. Um, I am making a business. Um. So at the moment, I'm writing a book. Um, I have a character called Pam. It's fiction. It's fiction. Yes, please. For Get children. It Get it in there. Even better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Pam, um, she's been in hospital and she has a backpack full of um full of tips and tricks to get through everyday life using art. So Pam stands for poetry, art and music. Nice. Yeah, and they use poetry, art and music to to open doors to different situations in life. So, yeah, that's that's it's the book. so exciting, right. yeah. And, 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 yeah, save the rest. I know yeah. a little bit more about you Pam, actually, more. but th- there's, there's loads yeah. more than a book yes. and it's well exciting. Yeah, wow. this yeah. is just the beginning. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really cool and what a top idea. And is your mum going to go through with designing 
Yes, Pam. she is. My, so my mum does art. And shout out Linda. Sound, shout Linda. Lindell, sorry. She'll, she'll kill you if sorry. she hears you say Linda. Lindell. No. No, not Lindell. Can we, can we edit that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right, she'll laugh yeah. at that. <laughs> We've gone too yeah. far. If we just, just smooth through it, I'll maybe. Di- I'll have oh. different t shirts on. Just cut. Yeah. <laughs> Lindell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dead dark outside. Shout out Lindell. Yeah, Pam. Let's go. Pam, yeah. yeah. So mum's illustrating uh, Pam, and uh, and it's going to be a ride. It's going to be great. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Really, yeah, proper looking forward to seeing that develop. And um, you got your sights on staying up north. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Thank good. You. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Keep. keep. I, I... Yeah, that's here, the, yeah. Keep the journey local. Yeah, yeah keep <laughs> yeah. it local. We keep hold of <laughs> yeah, def- our, our gems, don't we? Definitely. Thank you. If I'm I see a you gem. at St Pancras again. I'll be <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've just seen her. Yeah, I've, just I've seen, seen her. She's back. Yeah. She's what are you doing spotted. there? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Put no. me in a suitcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and have you got any? Have you got any performances lined up or anything where people can catch you in over the next couple of months? I, I just kind of float about, really. Mm. I've, I've, I'm keeping my eye out by the meter, obviously. I'll always be there. <laughs> of course. Yeah, we've not paid Paige to say that. No, no. <laughs> um... so don't, I've not been paid a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we've not heard what you've got to say. Yeah, yeah. 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 we are just it. Well, making a tally. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you very much, Paige. You. That's your local spotlight. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Uh, let's crane the spotlight over. Um, hello. Do, I, do we do? Do we flip? Flip it. Yeah. Yeah. Smezzy's yeah, in. Smezzy's in. Yeah, friends. Yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead. What? what so where we know am how I? you kind of stumbled upon poetry because yeah. you tossed about your first year of uni and thought, shit, I my mum's gonna go have a yeah. go at me. I'm gonna start I taking missed, myself um, seriously. Sixty-three lectures and seminars. Wow. What were we doing at uni? Um, wh- <laughs> while sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Um, amongst other things there's actually 65 lectures in yeah. a year so yeah. Now, I made, yeah, it's really embarrassing now to actually look back on it I'm not proud of it to be fair I'd, I'd be fuming if anyone did that now but I was just I was what 19 was this at, in Manchester was it as Huddersfield well? I went right, to right okay yeah just yeah. scraped in because I pissed my A levels up I was good when I was at school I was good at GCSEs and that and then too much freedom and you, I had a, then got a provisional driving licence and could go to the pub so ruined my life well, you probably needed to go there to come back, didn't you? Like, you know, yeah. to go and explore that so. that realm. But that's the thing about going to you, like I, because I did uni later in life. Yeah, I did, and I did it in Blackpool. Yeah. So you know, I had to get up and just walk up the road, and uh, you know, I had a I'd, kid I'd at home and distance, jobs and yeah. stuff like that. that, that and I had to yeah. like. Maybe should probably should do it later in life. I was nineteen. What? Uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Why was I allowed the not to be? I know, and it was All like that sleeping. Yeah. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I think I figured out. Like, yeah, yeah. So what? Um, yeah. Once you started picking up pen and and, and performing in that, what, yeah. what? Where did the road take you? Like, it's it's hard to keep track of years and time now because of COVID and everything, and I can't quite remember how long it's been. I think it's been about poetry, maybe like four years, maybe a bit longer. But I was doing like I was performing short stories first yeah. at the like at events like saying and that. I, well, it wasn't quite saying. It was like ones before there was something like the one called Speak in Manchester, and there was like a few that I just like dipped me toe in a little bit, and I'd just do one piece. I'd like read a short story, yeah. and then they started becoming a bit more poetic, and I was trying to make them rhyme. I think by accident because I was getting a good reaction, I guess, from the crowd, and I realized that that was what was good, or that's what I was enjoying doing. And then they were like narrative poems, and yeah. then it just got shorter and shorter and shorter. And then I was like. I was really reluctant to say I was a poet, actually, which is quite weird, isn't it? I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if I'm a not poet. Not as weird as you think. Yeah, yeah. The I way it works, though, isn't it? You know, yeah. if, you're good, if you're good at storytelling, you can write a good story yeah. or tell a good story. It's, it's because you've got a natural flow in your voice. Anyway, I think you kind of just gravitate I think, towards... Yeah, I think um, it was, like, naturally musical, maybe. Yeah. And Lyric, then everyone kept somewhere. saying yeah. it was, like, lyrical or, like, yeah, it had, like, a certain flow to it. So I think I just leaned into it, really. So the music came along, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, and, it did. And the band and that, and yeah. then and then, wow, crikey! Try and summarise that. <sighs> it's it's difficult. I mean, I mean, it's quite funny being here, like right, uh, almost like in the midst of the the very sort of beginning of it being a real thing. And we we only had like a little discussion in the car, really. Of, you know, it's a real thing now. It's gonna it will be my job, I think. And you know, there's a team and all these super important people who believe in me in London and. You know, I've signed a record deal now, and it is hard to exclusive. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> just put it like said that like last week. To be fair, there's just it's all just happened, and it was and it was really unexpected. It was last June, really. Oh, maybe a bit before. Like had a we got one tune played. Like Craig Charles played this song Dreamscape on the radio that I'd like recorded in my wardrobe, not mixed and mastered it. It was genuinely like Robin who plays synth in the band that that made it a bit better than it was. I'd play this little piano thing. And I don't. It just was this. That's what it was. So insane that weren't it? And it was. Charles and I, but I genuinely thought it. that was it. I yeah. wasn't trying to do anything really. I was just like, that's an amazing thing that I managed to do with this or whatever. And then a bit of time went by, nothing happened. Actually, I think everyone now thinks it's that everything happened really quickly, and it didn't. It was like months went by and nothing happened. And then Craig got in touch again and said, or Craig's team, and was like, we're doing a show for National Poetry Day. Do you, uh, we're gonna play Dreamscape. And I just had, I don't know why, in my head I was like. Hang on a day or two because I've got this other tune and it's a poem. And they were like, We, we, you might not like it and you might not play it. And I was like, We just, I was like, just hang on a couple of days. And we went in and recorded Hitchhiker's Guide to the Fallacy. <laughs> and it was supposed to have like a hook and everything. And then we just didn't overthink it. And I was like, It's got to be a poem because it's for World Poetry Day. So we didn't have a hook in it, didn't have anyone, like, didn't sing a chorus. And then he played, he did like it, played it. And then again, nothing happened. So it, that went out like that was Mar last March that came out. Months went by, and I think it was June that Lauren Laverne found it. And then she tweeted about it and said, like, ridiculous things. Yeah. And then literally from that day, I couldn't even figure out what was going on. It was like, I was just getting emails from all these mad people. Like, have you got an agent? Have you got a lawyer? Have you got a sign? And it was like, on the same day. and I, could, I Sharks are circling. Yeah, and I did actually, <laughs> and I'm not actually seeing the tweet because she didn't tag me in the tweet. She She shared the song. I didn't actually know what was happening. <laughs> so I was going like, what's going on? Like, why, why is all this mean? interest? And then, yeah, a little bit. Uh, but then I'm like, you're just naturally suspicious, aren't you? Like, why does everyone suddenly want something? Like, like who's trying to con me or whatever? Yeah. And then it turned out, yeah, it, that was real. And then she started playing it loads. And then, yeah, sort of rest is history, really. The last three songs have been playlisted on Six Music. Um, <laughs> and you're gigging and that, aren't you? You know, all Manchester, London. Yeah, we were like, uh, uh, you've kind of like got me at the beginning of, we've got like an actual... We've got him while we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got me like right at the beginning of uh, like a festival season where we're doing like, you know, every weekend really. For April, we've got, we're in Scotland and then we've every weekend in May. It's like Great yeah. Escape, Get Together in Sheffield, like Brighton, fucking all over the place. But we've never toured before or anything. So we just don't really... I was in a meeting this morning with my manager and I was just a bit like, how do we get to these places? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you're just like people just expected yeah. to do. You're, like you're, you're kind of boss. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna have to get like. There's a few later in the season where we've got like Lost Village and moving back up in, in Manchester. Yeah. Mm. So I'm thinking like that'll be a bit of a celebration. I'll probably just get my mate to drive us so that they can have a ticket and all, and we'll probably get on it yeah. for those ones. But there's a few where like I'll be worried about losing my voice and everything. And yeah. there's there's like a weekend in May where we're doing like Blue Dot on the Friday. One in Nottingham called Splendor on the Saturday, and then Truck Festival on the Sunday. Mm. And we're, I'm a bit like, right, okay, I guess you this is what we do. Yeah. I guess we go. It's so good. It's so. It's like foot. Yeah, it's got. And we're dead excited because like that, that is the best bit. I, I don't know. You've like seen the show, and it's getting better, and we're getting more confident. And now, like you know, the band have just been dragged into it. Really, it's, it's so my good project. live. It, it, it's Thank you, amazing man. live. That's the really band good. are shit hot. Mm. You know, to hear. I mean, the the tunes are great. Yeah. Obviously, but to hear the live, them played live with guitars when you listen to things and on on Spotify or whatever, yeah. and and you, you you wouldn't automatically think this no. is a, this is guitar music, and I love that surprise. Yeah, I'm really so keen good. on that. I think there was a, there was an argument that it could have been you know like what we've done produced, yeah. or like someone's on like CDJs and spinning backing tracks, and it's me yeah. at the front. But I was like really adamant that I didn't want that to be the project. I wanted it to feel like a band. And that makes it more enjoyable for me, to be yeah. fair, as well. And then and for the audience, yeah, so and they've always enjoyed. And they're all like, characters and all. Your brother and, and yeah. Tom, like, I know Tom's face and his bass. Well, Tom gets that like, mango mood, and we did that in London the other day. We had like a headline in London, and that was mental because people were singing like words about fucking Hyde in Manchester in London back to me about yeah, like that's and I was the like, way round to do it isn't it yeah and I was like that's mad that they know these words because they probably don't even know what they mean and like we did like Mango Mood we don't always get it in the set because we don't got a lot of time we usually have like an half an hour set or whatever but we could just play as long as you wanted because it was our show so we did Mango Mood which is like I won't know it like it's like a it was a voice note it's my mate Tom or what he, what he orders from the chicken shop and me and me and, <laughs> and here's a voice note and he goes I'm chicken then no. he literally goes I mean I know he's like um, 
Yeah, it's like garlic mayo all over the chicken and the chips and a can of um, mango, please, because I'm feeling in a mango mood. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he said. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to sample that. And he was like, yeah, whatever. And then we did, made it his garage tune. Brilliant. And loads of people, it's like loads of people's favourite tune. And like, I found that from the London show. We had like Matthew Crosby um, and Vin from Radio X came down. And like, Ed Gamble was on the, the, the guest list as well. And it turned like, Ed Gamble's got mango mood on his phone because Crosby sent it to him. And obviously, like, people, like, I listen to Off Menu every week like, as yeah. part of their podcast. Yeah. Awesome. And it's mad that Tom's on their phone, this mad fucking <laughs> from like two years ago. Uh, well, that... we, 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 me and my missus watch uh, Great British Menu. Yeah, man. So yeah, he's great, I, I, yeah. I said, uh, Ed likes a bit of Anthony Schmerit, you know. Yeah. She's like, no way. She calls like... me a smear check because <laughs> well, the producer accidentally that's... said, yeah, Vin, yeah. he said. Important. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, again, it's quite nice to be, you know, bringing awareness to very yeah. important issues. Didn't think I was going to be the face of smear check, uh, national smear check well, campaigns. <laughs> but it is important. It is important. Yeah. But yeah, it's all been a bit, even now, like it's all tumbling out of me, man. I don't like sort of ruminate on it much yeah, or yeah, like yeah. even talk about it's it. Important and then too, I'm like, though, mate, what the hell? stock of what the hell's happened. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. And how inspiring that. that you've got someone to say, well, this is what I did. And I was in my bedroom doing this. And then I uh, did something with my mates and yeah. and it's took off. And, now that and... is important to me, actually, that, you know, my dad doesn't, I'm like, don't work for EMI. Or I haven't got loads of money. And we, yeah. I'm like, yeah. and I'm now in direct com- competition with massive acts from London. Like, if you look at who we're on builds with and festival builds and, you know, I don't want to like name names or anything, but even people that like, signed to the same label and that, I don't know. There, there's a precedent there or they've, it's in the family or whatever. And, and that's fine. But it is really nice that we've. It is a genuine. It's genuinely happened from yeah. now. Yeah. And to get on, like to get on six through, like you, you got like now I know the industry a bit more. You have like radio pluggers, and they plug, they go into the meetings, and they plug the tune and all that sort of stuff. And we we did it with that. We got on like Hitchhikers got on the actual playlist with none of that. Yeah. And because someone who presents the show heard it and yeah. liked it. And yeah. you know, do you know where he, That's where so he got? Good. Was it Craig Charles? Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, he's he's played at bootleg loads, hasn't he? Yeah, so I'm not yeah, saying yeah, he was yeah, bad yeah, yeah. a meter, but <laughs> yeah, there's still a connection. I'm meeting him next week actually for the first time. I've not actually met Craig, but I mean, I'm going into the, like a pre-record thing. It's like a long lost love story that I just to owe him so much, man. And then do you know what's fucking what's so nice about that and going into poetry? So Craig Charles is a poet. He was. He is a poet. He, he, he lost it for years, and he was like, because videos of him when he was dead young, like Red Dwarf days, doing poetry, spoken word nice. stuff. His poetry's like fucking well good, um, and he got back into it after. He was like, kind of. It was like the same time when we did the politics. When we did, oh yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Do you know what? His poetry's mint. He's got. He's got some really like super moving poetry. Um, oh yeah, he's he's got. But he got back into it and he started doing record like recording some of it for six and that which was dead nice um but he's like sort of rediscovered that as well which is nice can i just drop one of your your gigs that you've got in which is the alexandra yeah. palace one mate that is that i is mean exciting. i love how you just like not mention that but that's fucking that would be the first Ali thing out Ali. of my mouth yeah yeah supporting a uh, hot chip and george fitzgerald Let's just mic drop right there. Bringing the darts, now. music, and poetry together. Exactly. I, I think we'll come out and be like, let's yeah. play darts. <laughs> um, I will, that will be at the forefront of my mind, yeah. to be fair, all the yeah, way through. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of mad. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's annoyingly my whole monologue all the way through all yeah. of the sets. When we were doing the Six Music Festival and it was like, you know, don't swear, and it's going out on national radio. I was like, don't say anything stupid, don't say anything stupid, which is like my whole shtick, really, in between songs is saying stupid shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But then it was just, yeah, that was just me getting sort of emotional, really. I got, it's funny because you can listen, they've recorded it. I've listened to it back, which I don't normally listen to the live stuff back. And it, I was struggling to get my words out, which is funny because that's my whole thing. And I, you can hear me like sort of like this a bit, <laughs> but more crying. Under yeah. pressure. Yeah. 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 Like, it was a bit of nerves. It was a bit of just being overwhelmed. That was the yeah. first one where we've had like a full, you know, it was Band on the Wall. We talked about Band on the Wall. Um, and it was like a, it was a full sold out room, and it was like I was like, oh, I put you know put the big light on, and they put the light on, it was like full front to back. And yeah, I went, and I'm, shout we all out band some, on the wall, that's yeah. a fucking yeah. awesome venue. We all looked at each other like, shit, yeah, this is happening. And it was that very much. That was the one I think that very much was the one where we were like, oh, this is this is real, and like people had, you know, it's it's super overwhelming. You know, we're in the bar after, and there was like a lot of people coming over, 
a lot of people come, were coming over and there was people, you know, we've come from Sheffield to watch you, we've come from wow. Leeds, we've come up from Bright, you know, like, and people had come to see yeah. us, which is weird, because you all know it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's, and that's so good. What a feeling that must be. Yeah. That's, it, but you're it's, not, yeah, it's all right. You've not, like, it's been all right. s- scraping around your local community trying to get people to come. Not that that's I tell a bad you what, thing, though, but it's, it's, just to know that people are coming to see you is, like... That's nice. That is nice. Over. I've not really enjoyed, like, a... After a gig, yeah, because you you don't really know what to do with yourself. You come off and you're like buzzing, and then everyone wants to have a chat with you, obviously, or your mates do, and that's great. But you you almost like I don't know. You don't really know what to say to I people. Saw, do you know, idols, yeah, man. saw idols yeah. at bootleg, yeah, and I think it was the last time they played like a three hundred capacity club. It nice. So it was sold out. It was fucking mega, and they were just huge after that. But they were they were just in the crowd after yeah. in and out of the toilets. Hello, couldn't be nice. You know, just speaking yeah. to speaking to everyone, and I think keeping that that human level yeah, about sure. it all and that approachableness and not you know not being the. It was like, um, there's like you feel there's a bit of like a response. I mean, I, I keep saying I'm right at the beginning of it and everything, but you feel like an element of responsibility. And also, I get in my head a bit where I'm like, "Oh, what if I'm not funny now?" Because I've just been telling loads of jokes on stage, and I was like, "Oh, this is great, I love it." And then you get off stage, and you're like looking at the floor, and like, "Oh, thank you," and you're like, "Oh, you're not. I'm not what they expected me to be." And I've, I've, even right at the beginning, there's a lot of that to sort of get over. I think. I think um, most people will go, "Oh, what a lovely lad he was as well." I hope yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, of course they will. Yeah, just, yeah. just yeah, ride. They will. You know, ride you don't that wave, joke. mate. Yeah, ride yeah, that wave. It. Just keep yeah. it. Keep oh, it. Yeah, just keep We're like, literally like the four of us are professional overthinkers. That's yeah. the whole. That's what we've made <laughs> yeah. our job. When you're talking about where you've come from yeah. and the reason that you're doing it, yeah. that's all. That's all. Yeah. That's all a part of it. That is all. That is all a part of it. I'm still teaching. Teaching like six days a week. I'm in colleges and in schools. I do what Nathan does really. Amazing. You know, and they don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's still gonna be shit. Just keep on keeping on. Like what? Yes. Ra- radio six. They like not one, two, three, four, five. They like. <laughs> I'm like, nice. Let me know when you like, it's the cool one. one. <laughs> it's the cool one. Yeah, they'll figure it out. Yeah, they'll get there. They'll get there. Thank you very much, Anthony. No, both both of you, super inspiring stories. You know, I think um, anybody who's listening, except you, mum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any other person who might be listening, um, I think if you're thinking about poetry, there's two people who've done it very differently, yeah. but touched the lives of lots and lots of people on the way. So that's uh, that's the main thing, isn't it? You know, yeah, it's a nice way of putting it. But Poets we've come corner. to Poets Corner, haven't we? Yeah. Poets Corner. So um, yeah, who um, <laughs> who would like to go first? This is your chance to shout out anybody or any event or any place, venue, whatever it might be, where you think, do you know what? They deserve a shout out. People need to. People deserve to know about them. I'm already panicking. Yeah. You're gonna have to go first. It could okay. be a person, a performer. It could be an event that you've been to. Yeah. It could be a venue that you've 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 kind of performed at, and you thought that that was mega. Okay. Um, do you, you look like you're ready to go, I, Paige? I, Take I, it. I have I have one person. He's called Stuart, and he does chatty patter. Have you heard of chatty patter? I've heard of chatty patter. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it? <laughs> Is that Bolton? Chatty Patter. Um, it's all over the UK. Like he goes everywhere. So he does some in London, yeah. some in Manchester. He's been to Scotland, loads of different places. So um, Chatty Patter on. Um, Has he got ginger hair? He does have yeah, ginger hair. Is he his calls Instagram? Himself ginger Nomad. Ginger Nomad. Yeah, ginger Nomad. Yeah, yeah, ginger know, nomad. yeah, ginger yeah ginger nomad. saying on the prom. Shout out to you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ginger Excellent. Nomad. Yeah, he's yeah. all over the place, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, he's fabulous. Yeah, he's very, very good. He does. I don't understand. You know, like how poets. You do it, go blah, 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 with the words, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, we the do. Old, that's how he's made it. We do it. For those who haven't listened to Anthony's music, it's, there's a little bit more to it than that. <laughs> That was the second single, that. It's Gatman John. Really yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> it all comes back round. It all comes back round. Oh, and uh, the, Very much Scatman John. Oh, the moustache. Yeah, yeah, love it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize cool. nice sure. Merrick yeah, when, he, sure, when so. he got off the train. I don't think exactly the same. He said, I've got a stick on a moustache on. It's not real. <laughs> I was like, is yeah, that? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. So, Stuart Ginger Nomad, he's getting Ginger your shout Nomad, out. Nice yeah. one. Keep up the good work, Stuart. Yeah. Thanks, Paige. Good luck, Stuart. And yeah. Anthony. Um, I'll shout out my good friend and blether performer, Kate Island. Nice. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, or the former Biometer performer, yeah. yeah amazing. Man. Amazing. Fabulous. She's just my favourite poet. 
I yeah, think. mine too, you know. Yeah, out of any, anyone, yeah. out of the, yeah. all of the famous published poets. Yeah, mind This blowing. is so annoying that this is a, that it's getting recorded. Um, but she, I mean, yeah, she's great, man. She's just got she's got a night now in in Manchester called Bleather. Yeah. Um, she had like 120 people there last time. She did the Burns night wow. Yeah, yeah. love it. Well deserved as well. She's just incredible, man. I think you like the way she just like hers are like monologues, yeah. and it's but there's just every line's just so good. Yeah, delivered okay. to perfection. Yeah. So aren't they? Like f- I'm just yeah. such a fan. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I was, I mean, I was with that, her last night. We went to Collage Club last night and we made Collage collages. Club. <laughs> 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 in love the old line. Going to knitting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, needed yeah. some. We both needed something because I come off this like little run of gigs and the EP launch, and she's just come out of that play with Rory. Yeah, and we were both like, what? How do we survive? Like, what do we do in the real world? So we just needed to go and sit in a in a old library. But she's amazing. Blever's amazing. Um, she'll be working. She well, she's always working on something. But I imagine when she gets like she wants to do a show and she'll have a book and all that sort of stuff and just like yeah. get yeah. at Kate Only Island. Time, that? Yeah. She's just, yeah, we'll better you know, get her on the podcast there. <laughs> Actually, we yeah, yeah. better had yeah. before she blows up because uh, we've had her on By The Meter 4 yeah. with Paige yeah. and yeah, the response from the crowd was, yeah, jaw-dropping. He's just, yeah, she's yeah. mega. She is good. Keep up the good work, Kate. That's a shout out for you. I've been Nathan. I've been Rob. I've been Paige. I nearly forgot. Uh, I've been Anthony. And we've been By The Meter. We'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>